everybody. Welcome to episode number four of TheraClean TV. I'm your host, Kyle Darling. In this episode, we are going to talk about TheraClean Microbubble versus our favorite neighborhood mammal, the skunk. Not that skunk. That skunk. Ah, the skunk. Poor thing. Everybody knows you stink. Has anybody ever hit a skunk with their car? I have. And what do we have to do right away? We have to go get our car cleaned because our car now stinks and not the inside. Well, the same goes with our pets. If your dog or cat gets sprayed by a skunk, oh no. And what if it happens in the middle of the night? What do I do? Well, we're here to tell you about how Theraclean Microbubble is changing everything in getting your pets squeaky clean and rid of that lovely musk known as skunk smell. So what do we do if our pet got sprayed by a skunk? First things first, keep your dog or cat outside. Do not whatsoever let your dog or cat go into your house. That smell will linger forever. And obviously, we don't want that. Did you know that skunk smell can stay on your pet's skin or coat for days, weeks, and even months? It's bad. And we'll talk about when your dog gets wet again, what it smells like. Okay, unfortunately, our dog or cat has been sprayed. Now, if this has happened to you before, where do they usually always get sprayed? Bingo, right in the face. <laughs> so how is TheraClean Microbubbles changing the way we can safely clean the face without irritating the eyes, nose, or mouth? Well, two things. The TheraClean Microbubbles clean to a level that the traditional methods can't reach or get to. Our hydrogen peroxide, baking soda, and Dawn clean, and it works, but it only cleans on the surface. So if any of that skunk oil made its way past the top hairs and into the skin and the hairs underneath, we could be in trouble. So remember that skunk oil is positively charged because it's organic. And the TheraClean Microbubbles, if we've done our homework and watched episode one of TheraClean TV, Microbubbles 101, they are negatively charged. So the negative microbubble and the positively charged skunk oil, the bubbles love it. And they will go right to it, attaching themselves to it like a magnet and pulling it out naturally. That's how it works. And the best thing about it is you can get it as much as you want in the eyes, nose, and mouth because it's just water. We'll show you a couple videos of a few of our clients actually doing this on dogs that were sprayed by skunks. And first, let's speak to our TheraClean skunk guru from Love Fur Dogs in Glencoe, Illinois. Here's Jennifer Jenkins. Okay, we are with Jennifer Jenkins of Love Fur Dogs in Glencoe, Illinois. Thanks for joining us, Jennifer. How are you? I am very well. Great. Uh, the reason we uh, picked Jennifer, everybody who's uh, watching this episode, is... Um, Jennifer is our uh, kind of skunk guru. And um, <laughs> it, I know you had mentioned, Jennifer, that uh, it was one of the reasons why you had bought the TheraClean system, correct? It was the main reason. I mean, for some strange reason, and I have actually done some research on why, the, the, the Chicago area and the Chicago suburbs, the northern suburbs in particular, which is all swampland historically, um, we have been absolutely ground zero for a skunk epidemic the last four years. Now, this year we're slightly back to normal, but we are doing um, where there was a peak over the last three years where most groomers that I knew across the country were doing five to six skunk treatments a year. I was doing five to six a day, and wow. it was so bad 
and none of the products, none of the other shampoos or anything, uh, all of the traditional treatments of baking soda, hydrogen peroxide, none of those were really working. We were having to do treatment after treatment after treatment, mm-hmm. and none of them were working. And this, um, you know, was the the main financial justification I had for for buying the TheraClean. Gotcha. Wow. Yeah, I know that uh, when we had uh, first came to uh, the All American Grooming Show, which is usually held in uh, Wheeling, Illinois, but they're changing it this year in 2018, but same kind of area. It's a Chicago area, yeah. Yeah, I remember looking at Jeff, we get off the plane, and it was uh, in about a 15, 20 minute drive up to Wheeling, and it was just, all we could smell was skunk, and I was just like, <laughs> what is going on around here? Yeah. <laughs> but fantastic. Yeah, so walk us through the very first time you guys did, you got your system, and you did a dog that was sprayed by a skunk, and Correct me if I'm wrong, I think um, you and uh, Bill and, and everybody else there, everybody put their nose right into the coat, did they not? Yeah, yes. And a couple of things that we noticed right off the bat. Well, first of all, to say that when we do a skunk treatment with Fetheraclean, we use three full scoops of the orange enzyme. Mm-hmm. And we go longer. We'll go for 25 to 30 minutes. Fall, and it depends on the dog's coat, um, and and depends on how bad the hit was. And but the best part that, about it is that almost every dog that um, gets skunked gets skunked in the face or the throat or the cheek, and right. it goes sometimes in their mouth and in their nostrils and in their eyes and in, you know all over their you know their slobber chops and their drooly apron areas and all that stuff. And one of the things that um, uh, because dogs go after the skunks with their faces. They go, you know, sn- yep. you know. Well, let me sniff what that thing is, and then they get they get blasted. Um, sometimes a dog will get hit on the side, turning to run away. But um, a lot of these hits were direct in the face, and of course, most of your standard first aid to for skunks with baking soda, hydrogen peroxide, things like that, were um, and you you can't use those around the eyes, the nose. Right, you can't right. put that in the mouth; it burns near the eyes. That stuff is caustic, and it's um, so it was really wonderful to see that we could actually microbubble inside the mouth, inside the nostrils, inside the, uh, you know, we could let it run over the eyes if the eyes got hit. Mm-hmm. And, um, uh, you know, and we would let the dog sputter, you know, if, if we had to do it inside the mouth, for example, we would let the dog sputter and then we'd go back in there with more bubbles right. and, and just gradually do it. And, uh, and the first thing that we noticed after the dog was finished, the first time was is that we were still smelling as the dog was wet and coming out of the tub um we were still smelling the skunk really strongly and at first i thought what the heck's going on but then i figured it out the bubbles were floating those skunk oil molecules out into the air the dog smelled worse than ever for the first hour after the bath right gotcha and then we you know noticed that it was gone I mean, we put our nose down in the coat uh, after we blow dried the dog, and and uh, an hour later, and and it was completely like you could not even tell that the dog had been skunked. Uh, and we've never, ever, uh, no groomer that I've ever known has ever been able to get skunk out with one treatment. There's a local guy that um, has a company that runs all over the Chicago area where he'll go into your house and he'll clean your house. He is sending people to us because he, he can't get it out with, with what he's got and nor can anybody else. Um, this is what is getting the skunk out. And it's, I would say in at least two thirds of the cases, we are only doing one treatment and we're getting the skunk completely gone. And it used to be that I was doing three, four, five, six sort of spa shampoos with, you know, various high-end products Mm -hmm. to try to get skunk out but it this this is getting it out in one maybe two treatments depending on the dog's coat and and how um how close they were hit fantastic and and you know for for those who uh fortunately haven't had to experience their uh pet um getting uh hit by a skunk Usually now, am, am am I wrong here? I know my my uh, six year old boxer hasn't had that uh, happen yet, but it's only a matter of time. Um, when the dog gets or cat gets wet again down the road, um, right. that those Always. oils are present. Is that correct? 
Yeah, no, then that's because skunk oil, skunk is an oil, and it's a very complex molecule. And mm -hmm. one of the things we know scientifically is that the human nose can detect it at 10 parts per billion. So if there's only just 10 molecules left buried down deep inside the skin, anytime the dog gets wet, your house is going to reek like skunk again. And we, in fact, we just had a great Pyrenees that came into our shop today, brand new dog for our business. They had just rescued this dog. And we put him in the tub and, and got him wet to give him his bath and immediately we can smell I, I said i called up the owners they said we smell skunk they said oh yeah he was hit four months ago months 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 wow I said, four months ago and then i said please let us do this amazing thing and i explained the seroclean to them and so you know now it's completely completely gone because those molecules will sit down inside the skin and they'll just, every time the dog will get wet, it'll just smell like skunk again. And people, I will tell you, given the number of skunk kits that have been happening in the Chicago area, we've even made national news with the, um, with the skunk hits in the Chicago area. And this is traumatizing to people's lives. Their homes smell. They can't sleep at night. They oh, can't yeah. walk into their own home and relax. They can't play with and cuddle with their dog. It, it's, when a skunk hit happens in your life, it's, it's a serious issue for families mm -hmm. and so having the fair clean has just been a godsend that's great to hear now let's you know go back to somebody who it's it's the middle of the night and fido gets blasted what do you recommend to people because i know you did, had talked about once upon a time about the baking soda and some dry cornstarch i believe just until you know they can get to somebody like you at love for dogs Right. Well, the most popular handout I've ever made at my shop was a how to prevent skunk attack and then what to do if you're, if you're hit anyway, um, because you can never stop an ambush. But the one right. thing, of course, we always tell people is don't walk your dog. Don't, don't turn your dogs. And we, you know, this is the North Shore here. These are, you know, wealthier people for the most part with nice wooded big backyards. And, and there's a lot of forest preserve around here. And it mm -hmm. is, there's a lot of big, beautiful yards here. And people are just turning their dogs out, uh, you know, at, dawn or dusk or in the middle of the night and then they're getting nailed by skunks and so i've been telling everybody you can't just turn your dog out unless you're in broad daylight and even then when we were in the peak of our skunk attacks around here two years ago the the absolute peak we were getting daytime hits broad daylight hits they're, they're, those animals are fearless they have no natural no natural enemies and uh, they just walk down the middle of the street <laughs> it's almost like they're protected or something in your area <laughs> And then, yes, we do tell them if they do get hit yeah. um, to not bring the dog in the house, which is another mistake they often make. They want to take yeah. them into their house and bathe them or something. And that just spreads no. the oil around oh. more oh, and yeah. gets the smell all over their house, every porous um, surface in their house. So what we tell them to do is just take dry baking soda or dry cornstarch and mm -hmm. pack the area of the impact. And, you know, like let it absorb the oil and then, you know, knock it off and do it maybe three or four times. Then close the dog into a garage or a basement or a laundry room or something that's a cleanable, confined space. And then bring them over to us for the TheraClean in the morning. And that's what this, this man that does the skunk um, a service uh, here in, in Illinois is doing. He is telling people to, um, you know, just hang on uh, until 8 o'clock in the morning when Love for Dogs opens, and then they can come over and get the, the TheraClean. That's great. And there was, there was a, a big, we had a big long winter here, and literally the first week we had warm weather here last month, the first week we got two, three, four, five skunk hits a day. Wow. Wow, it's 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 like they're protected or something in your area. Well, oh, they are man. protected. <laughs> That's another problem. <laughs> yeah. Skunks cannot be killed, um, except by dogs that want to go get them. Yeah, exactly. And I think that you know what we're basically trying to do here is just telling pet owners that there is no risk. You can get them theraclean micro bubbles in the eyes, the nose, the mouth. I think you, I think um, I know you were helping uh, one of our other clients in Idaho um, talking about getting the theraclean micro bubbles up in the nose. Correct. Yes, that's right. Yeah. And and really, the dogs are fine with it. You just have to not keep you know pushing it in, pushing it in. You have to. Yeah. Put it in for a few seconds and then let them sputter and, you know, and then go back at it. And, and yeah. 
and you know we just keep coming back every minute or so we'll keep moving the wand around and um and getting all those out of the way places and you can get up in the armpits you can get between the toes it's just there's nothing that you can't that you can't get and it's really um uh, i i have had 100% not just happy customers but like tears of gratitude happy oh, customers yeah. Yeah, that smell. Going on to, you know, online reviews and writing the most glowing reviews about how we fixed a problem that nobody else could fix. That's awesome. Fantastic. Thank you so much for doing this, Jennifer. You are uh, our, uh, not only uh, one of our top clients here, but uh, just our skunk guru. I, I knew the very first person when we wanted to uh, film this video was uh, was do the interview with you because you have the most experience. And uh, thanks again for doing this. This is Jennifer Jenkins from Love Fur Dogs in Glencoe, Illinois. Um, please say hi to Bill and all the staff, and thanks again. Yeah, thanks to you guys and Kyle and Jeff and everybody at TheraClean. We are grateful for your wonderful product. Thanks so much, Jennifer. Have a great day. Okay. You too. Bye. Bye-bye. Those videos are courtesy of Ken Carl Pet Spa in Littleton, Colorado, and Doggy Styles by Chelsea Dog Grooming in Hermitage, Pennsylvania. Thank you, ladies. And we obviously like to thank Jennifer Jenkins of Love Fur Dogs in Glencoe, Illinois. Well, that wraps up yet another episode of TheraClean TV. Listen, always remember to demand the very best for your pets, the TheraClean Microbubble Bath, North America's leading microbubble system with five years of proven reliability and, as always, results. Don't forget to like us on our Facebook page our Instagram page, our Twitter page, and of course right here on our YouTube page. Please subscribe as we've got a lot more videos coming your way. Tell all of your pet owner friends about TheraClean and how we're changing the way that we get our pets skin both clean and healthy. Why? Because clean skin is healthy skin. I'm Kyle Darling. Thanks for tuning in. We'll see you next time. Take care.